Hi everyone, my name is Ahlam Ismail, but most people know me as Lamu. I am a music artist based in Kampala, Uganda. Whatever she's giving you, baby, I can double it. Okay, in my industry, which is the entertainment industry, it's really hard for um, someone like me to like get out there and meet someone and vibe with them and date. Like I overthink stuff when it comes to relationships, like new people. I'm always just like, ah, I can't trust this person. What if this person leaks my nudes what? and stuff like that. So I don't really date much, but I've been thinking about it lately and that's why I'm here to try this out. I've seen some people try it out and it has worked out for them. So we'll see how this goes. Today we've got the lovely Lamu who is looking for a partner and we have four potential candidates that are going to get to go on dates with her today where she will finally pick which guy she is the most connected to. Now today's episode is a blindfolded elimination episode. That means they're not going to see each other until the very end. I love tall men. Oh my god, that's my weakness. Like just be tall. It's enough. You are enough. How tall are you? Six, one and a half. Ooh, perfect. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Six is enough. Now there's three rounds to the show. The first round is where she vets them and picks out the potential candidates who will go to the second round, which is dating. And it's going to be blindfolded speed dating. That's right. Three minutes on a date with a complete stranger who you're not even going to see for you to decide whether or not they make the final cut in which we have the third round, which is the reveal where she gets to decide which of the two last guys she is feeling the most and who gets to go on another date with her stay tuned i'm here and i'm expecting to find someone who's very fun someone i can trust and have fun with and work together and make money period this is the pan-african dating show where we make realities come true by finding people in love within the african diaspora if you guys want to be a part of the show make sure to subscribe because we only let people who are subscribed to the channel be on the show on top of that please make sure to turn on your post notifications mm. Let's get right into it. So this is the first round where Lamu, you're going to be vetting the guys. You can ask them anything you'd like to know about them. And they have to tell you a little bit about themselves, after which you will decide one guy from the four gentlemen here that you want to eliminate today. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, guy number one. Lamu, what would you want to know? Hi. Hello. Uh, How old are you? 28 years old. What do you do for fun? I like going out. I like shopping. I like traveling as well. I like cooking. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, guy number two. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm not okay. Why? Because I want to take you home today. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How long was your longest relationship? Four years. What happened? Sometimes the lady feels insecure and you try to keep it locked, but there's nothing you can do about it. Because when a lady gets jealous, it's like a volcano erupts. It's wild. It just comes out like, poof. Everything is crazy. So you can't stop the fire from flowing. Okay. Okay, guy number three. Hi. Hi. What do you do for a living? I'm more of uh, an event organizer. And uh, also I own a boutique. Purposely selling men's clothes. That's what I do. And that's what brings food on my table. Okay. Yeah. Who is your favorite? artist in Uganda. Good, I'm happy with that. Oh, <laughs> okay, guy number four. Hi, sweetness. Hi. Did you just call me sweetness? Most of. Uh, you sound like one. So. Um, how tall are you? Six, one and a half. Ooh, perfect. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Six is enough. Okay. Let's move on to the next person. <laughs> That's it. That's the four guys that you managed to speak to. Oh, yes. Then I'm going to have to ask you to eliminate one. But before I do, I just quickly want to know, how are you feeling so far? I feel weird okay. and nervous because I can't see anything. Uh -huh. I just don't want to mess up mm -hmm. and eliminate someone that I might have potentially um, a connection with. Okay. Yeah. Well, would you say that physical appearance to you is more important than a man's personality? 
no it's not mm-hmm. but it's not but bad. it helps it helps yeah. to look at someone who's good looking yeah like when i'm pissed at you and you're smiling and you're cute uh-huh. and then I, i'll 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 stop being mad really. all right okay so lamu i'm going to ask you from this first <sighs> round who do you want to eliminate right now okay this is a really it's not an easy decision Mm-hmm. considering I literally do not I can't even see any of you guys mm-hmm. and we've had such a little time but a decision has to be made yes so I am going to take a risk and eliminate number 1 oh thank you so much guy number 1 for being on the show now the rest of you this means that you have qualified to be in our next round which is dating how are you guys feeling guy number 2 how are you feeling i feel so ashamed Why? <laughs> Because my heart was beating. I thought I was going to lose, but uh-huh. Oh goes to the sky. Praise be to the Almighty. Mwah. Happy. Okay, okay. Guy number three, how you feeling? I'd like to tell her one thing. Uh-huh. That she did not make any mistake. Okay, guy number three. Sorry, guy number four. <laughs> um, she sounds like she's really amazing as a person and I just can't wait to get to know her personally because um a beautiful personality right now is something that's so rare to find mm-hmm. and I'm a Christian I have hope and I believe she is a beautiful soul just can't Aww. wait to get to know her personally that is so beautiful all right guys we're going to get into the dating right now but before we do stay tuned because we have Lamu actually meeting guy number 1 who just got eliminated the rest of you I'm going to ask you to get ready to go on your dates do not take off your blindfolds Hey Arnold, Lamu, take off your blindfolds on 1 2 3 go. Hey. You know me? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you know me from? Probably we haven't like talked but I've seen you like a couple of, like a couple of times you know out there. So How do you feel? Uh well about being well, eliminated um, to be honest uh, I had a feeling I had a feeling Why? I had a negative feeling that anything could happen so Yeah Yeah Um <laughs> do you want to know maybe why Yeah yeah sure go ahead I felt like you were holding back when I asked about more of the personal stuff I yeah. thought that would be an opportunity for you to like Yeah like what shine a stuff? light on the kind of person you are Yeah but um, I think I explained the best I could I yeah. I mean it was so brief so Yeah It was hard for me, you know, like to go extra miles, you know, explaining myself. So, yeah. yeah. Are you Ugandan? Yeah, I'm Mchiga, by the way, the strongest tribe in Uganda. So, oh. yeah, I mean. <laughs> okay, guys, no yeah. hard feelings? Yeah, I know. I'm very good. I'm very good. <laughs> Can we get a hug? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Hi, again. Hello. Um, what's your name? My name is Spartan. Spartan. Uh, What's yours? Lam. Nice name. Do you sing? I do dance all. You do dance? No, I can't dance, but I can do dance all. Like music. Oh, like you record music? I used to. Oh, why did you stop? I would like to tell you, but it's like a maze. As you keep running, as you keep knowing. Mm. Yes. Do you believe in love without sight? I think it's possible. Yeah, it is. I think human beings we are so advanced as like a race you know we feel things without seeing without touching we feel things i mean by the time we believe in an invisible god in the sky that we've never seen but we love this god and we believe in so i think it's possible it's possible yeah do you think you're a funny person like can you make a joke and i laugh i don't think i can make a joke but Why? i can invent a joke and you can laugh can i tell you a joke tell me a joke hey y'all come look at this <laughs> What does a deaf gynecologist do? I even can't speak English well. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I thought that made you laugh. That means I'm funny. No, you're not. What does a, a deaf gynecologist do? I really don't know what that means. Okay. What does it mean? A gynecologist is a vagina doctor. Okay. What does he do? He reads lips. But I can't even see how can I read lips. This man. I would touch the lips and feel how they feel like. Where are you from? I'm from Acholiland. Oh, you're Ugandan? 
I'm Ugandan mixed with Greek. Greek? Mm-hmm. Like white people Greek? I don't know white people. I know Greeks and I know Ugandans. Okay. That was kind of disappointing because he didn't get my joke. He didn't know what a gynecologist is. He says he doesn't know English, but he's Ugandan. Most Ugandans speak English. I don't know anyway, we'll see. Hi, Hi, again. How are you? Fine. I'm just nervous. Really? Weirdly. Yet I'm always like doing stuff in front of the camera. My God, you sound even better than you did before. Um. So, what do you do, and is it anything in line with like entertainment? Um. Professionally, I'm actually a civil engineer. Mm -hmm. I uh, deal in domestic and commercial construction. But yes, I do. I play guitar, church guitar, bass and electric guitar. Okay. Mm. Um, do you believe in witchcraft? Ha, huh, that's a... That went really dark really fast. <laughs> but uh, I have seen things and I have heard stories. Um, do you? Yeah, I'm actually a witch. Really? Yeah. That's terrifying. I can, I can read your palm without looking. Indulge Give me your me. hand, if you don't mind. It's right here. Where? Here. Actually, I'm joking. I just wanted to hold your hand. Nice. <laughs> nice. You feel really soft, light-skinned, tall. No, be juju be that. I'm. I'm not tall. I'm five four. Mm. Yeah. So I'm quite short. Complexion. Actually. Um. I, Light-ish, I guess. Tell me something. What are you most proud of? The fact that I've chased my dreams. It's one of the hardest things I had to do, like drop out of med school and go after what I want to do, which is entertainment, basically just creating things from my mind and bringing them to reality. It's not something easy, so I'm really proud of, of how far I've come. Oh. Yeah. What do you do? I do music, I do film. Um, I, I do a lot of creative stuff, basically. Nice. Yeah. How would you feel about like watching your girlfriend make out with someone else on screen? Well, that is a total no-no for me. I I get the industry and how it works, mm. but I am. Um, a lot of people call it insecure and everything. Yeah. I believe I'm territorial. If you're my girl, I believe there's certain discussions we have to have and there's certain lines that have to be drawn. Regardless of what goes on, I understand where some people draw compromises and everything. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. Like even if we're being paid like a million dollars for nope. this movie, no, no, no making out with anyone on screen. If you're my person, mm. you're my person. No one is gonna grace those lips or feel you. Okay. Do you consider yourself a traditional individual or are you more for the, whoa, let's go feminism and all of that? I think it's a mix of both mm. because I still have that Swahili tradition, um, that Swahili traditional side of me, but also like I, I have like some modern thoughts about how I handle things, how I react. I don't really like have those prejudices from like the culture, like people who dress like this are these, or people who do this are these. Like I'm more open-minded, but yeah, I still have that traditional thing at the back that holds me at, yeah, to an extent. Yeah. Oh, he speaks Swahili. Most definitely. I actually okay. find that really catchy that you are, me and you share something in common. More than one thing, actually. Yeah. Mm. This one was quite interesting. I brought up the witch thing and he wasn't like weirded out. Most people are weirded. It's a joke, but they always overreact to it. I'm glad he was chill. Although the red flag is him trying to block my bag up a million dollars to kiss someone in a movie and you're telling me I can't, I can't do my job. It's a red flag. I understand, but for me, that's a red flag because it's what I do and it's not that deep. Hi again. Hello. What's your name? My name is Ken Sparta. So Sparta. Yeah. I'm just gonna get right to it, right? Yeah, yeah for real. So I, I just want to know, like, what's your name? Lamu, that's my nickname, Lamu, but my real name is Ahlam. Are you a boob guy or a butt guy? I'm an awesome man, but I them Damn. 
I'm a, I'm a bad guy. Oh, I don't have a big butt. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. What is your type? My type is someone I can laugh with. Yeah. I like laughing wow, I and like, being I, I, happy. I really like I, I like laughing a lot. Honestly, I like laughing a lot. Yeah, people that don't take things too too seriously, but also not too much joking, like Lama, just you, in between. Lama, you're talking about me. You're Ooh, about me for real. Yeah. But you still have to prove it. Yeah, because words are different from actual. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah. Are you the kind of guy that t- stays in touch with their exes? An ex is an ex. So if at all I moved into another chapter, then life goes on. An ex yeah. remains an ex, so I don't always get in touch with my exes. So, however, yeah. I would like to ask you the same question. Do mm. you always get in touch with your exes? I think there's some exes that maybe like you are friends, but not like you hang out or what, maybe once in a while. I mean, you knew their family, you met their sisters, your friends with who. So I think it's not... It's not always about like oh my god we are done we have to be enemies okay. but i think you also have to respect like yeah, 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 someone can be with a new partner yeah, you can't yeah. come to their face and act like okay. you know okay. like yeah. you have m- too much money yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah that's really good so yeah. like uh, like have you ever been in a relationship or you've been in two situations like tell me about your relationship though my longest was five years oh okay yeah since you broke up so for how long like what's the period like since you broke up like how long how long have single? i been single yeah, i've been yeah. single for maybe two years wow. one year okay. one year and a half almost two years now okay yeah Let's imagine, right? right. I make my money. You're making your money. But I'm telling you that my money is my money, but your money is ours. How do you feel about this? Okay, I believe that if at all we are all in this in the relationship, we are both together into this, I believe that it should all be 50-50. You understand? Uh, Why would you say that my money is ours and yours is not? Okay. I, I believe that if at all I'm making, contributing or doing some stuff, I also would like you at least to do something little also to show me that, yeah, you're into this, you we are together moving forward. And like, if at all I have no money, then mm. what next? So meaning we shall not touch on yours and we stay broke. Yeah. Yeah, so I believe that uh, like we both have to contribute. I mean, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Please, I, I want do. I want to only have one favor. Mm-hmm. I just want to touch your hands and just feel you. I thought that's okay. It's okay. Let me just. Oh my god! Like she's, your hands are so soft. Do you know how to cook? Yeah, oh, I do. Oh my god! That's a weird question, but. Oh, that's cool. I do. I I cook um, rice, okay. meat. Okay. Much okay. So what, what's your favorite Greens. meal? What's your favorite meal? My favorite meal is actually junk food. So like fries. Okay. But I eventually want to stop because I want to look young forever. Oh. So I need to stop that bad food and eat healthy and oh. look young forever. Okay. I'm awesome. really, really so happy, so happy to meet you. Awesome. This date was interesting. I felt like he was nervous though, but he was chatty. He was trying to to talk and ask questions and listen. And he was complimenting me as well. So. That's cool, and that's one of the reasons why I'm going to keep him. So that's Sparta, I'm going to keep Hunter. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to eliminate Spartan because of the three, he didn't really bring his A game. Like, I didn't feel like he wanted to be here even, I don't know. I felt like he was so laid back, which is okay, but it doesn't work for me right now. Okay, Spartan, Lamu, remove your blindfolds on one. Two, three, go. Oh my God. Gorgeous. Yeah, you're gorgeous. Did I make a mistake? I think you did. Yeah, did you're, you? you're really a very good looking African man. Interesting. You look like Tarzan. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. I feel like if I had seen you, I would have taken a different route, which says a lot about people because when we see people, we judge them for their looks without okay. even knowing them. So without seeing you and just talking to you, I think I imagined a very different person. So I trying to say So let me that say one bye. I trying and to move say that I won. <laughs>
If you're still tuned into the show, you know this is the final round where we have the grand reveal where Lamu is going to have to pick one of these two contestants who is going to probably go on another date with her. But first, before we get to that, guys, how are you feeling about this? Do you think your date went really well with her, Hunter? She sounds amazing, off the rip. Mm -hmm. I would definitely want to take her out, for real. On another date? Definitely. Okay. And another and another. Okay, what about you, Sparta? Let me come to you. How are you feeling? You've made it to this point. How are you feeling? I wasn't believing that I would make it this to the final. Uh huh. But I feel I feel nervous. I feel nervous uh -huh. because, to be honest, like I would really want to really take her on a date. Honestly. Take her on a date. Yeah. Okay, so um. Those of you watching at home, you probably don't know this, but Lamu and I go way back and she's my friend. So I have a personal question for the both of you. You have said you would want to take my friend out on a date. So I want to ask Hunter first, what is your ideal version of a date? What kind of date would you take Lamu out on? Candlelight, nine to midnight probably. Mm -hmm. Look at the sky, probably on a carpet or lesu, food. Okay. Talk about what you want, what you hope, dreams, expectations, where you see yourself, what you dream about. Get to know you as an individual. Get to know your secrets, if you would be able to trust me with them. Mm -hmm. And see where it goes from there. Okay. All right, what about you, Sparta? I feel like the date I would take her would be like a free, easy date. I don't want to like make it so high, high, that kind of style because I'm a free person and I'm a free person. Mm -hmm. So I would like to take her on a date, which is more like a movie kind of date. Mm -hmm. Then later, maybe our go out, maybe candlelight, something like that. Then get that talk, one-on-one -on -one talk, and make her laugh. I want to see her smile. I want to mm -hmm. see her smile. I want to get to know her for real. Well, she does like funny guys. I think Lamu likes the guy whose humor is above everything else. You guys haven't met at all uh, until this point of the show. So I'm going to ask all of you right now to take off your blindfolds in three, two, one, go. Oh my god. <laughs> she, she looks beautiful. She's my type, that's all I can say. Okay. Yeah, she's the type of girl I really, really, really go for. All right, what about you, Hunter? Noise. Noise. <laughs> Lavo, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah? You feeling good? Okay. Yeah, but it's it's gonna be a hard decision. Uh -huh. Because they come close, they mm -hmm. both look good. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, you obviously had your chemistry with both of them individually. Now I'm gonna have to ask you, which guy have you chosen? And before you tell me why you've chosen this guy, tell me what it is about him that you liked the most. I feel like I vibe the most with Hunter who I'm assuming I know who it is. Um, how tall are you? Six, one and a half. Ooh, perfect. Okay. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Six is enough. I vibe with Hunter because he's he seems calm. Mm -hmm. He seems um, confident. Mm -hmm. I like someone who's confident. I don't need someone who's going to make me feel like I need to self-doubt decisions. I mm -hmm. need to come and be like, hey, I'm hungry. And he's like, we're gonna do eat this and this and this. I don't want at now. What are we going to eat? Yeah. You know, I I want someone who like is quick and knows what they want. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's doing civil engineering. That can't be easy. Professionally, I'm actually a civil engineer. Mm -hmm. I uh, deal in domestic and commercial construction. He sounds calm, almost too calm. It's creepy, almost. <laughs> like, should I be scared? How? Why are you this calm? My only red flag with Hunter is the control bit. I sensed that whole, I can't work certain jobs in the entertainment industry, like mm. take on a role or like kiss in my videos or films. If you're my person, mm. you're my person. No one is gonna grace those lips or feel you. It's something you can definitely compromise if it's worth it, mm. you know, for the relationship. Um, some people just, that's their thing, they can't do that. So it's something I could compromise, I'm not sure yet. Okay, and yeah. what about my man over there? He's just standing no. there. What about Sparta? What did you like Ooh. the most about him? I mean, Sparta, you have made it to this round for a reason. You're so outgoing. You like, you're so chatty. Definitely. 
I'm so sure like we would talk and chill and go on and go on and go on. Yeah. And now looking at you, I like your smile a lot. Aww. So it actually made me question like, oh my God, should I change my mind? I love tall men. Oh my God, that's my weakness. Like just be tall. It's enough. You are enough. How tall are you? Six, one and a half, but Ooh, six Perfect. Two. I'm happy with that. <laughs> six is enough. <laughs> but I have to make a decision. I have to pick one man and yeah. Yeah. For me, I would pick Sparta. You pick Sparta. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> that can is I, so I, lovely. Can I really give her a hug? Yes, right you can now? come give oh come give her a hug. God. It's all good. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have both of you go ahead and stand over there. Right. <laughs> okay, so Lamo, are you are you confident with your decision? Are you happy with your decision? Um, I am confident. Uh -huh. I think I think there's that understanding there. Yeah. Yeah, like um, we get each other, we get the whole how the entertainment works. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, for real. Yeah. yeah. I like his smile. It's oh. it like it makes me feel like <laughs> yeah, he's smiling. I'm blushing right now. Well, it's the smile that made <laughs> yeah. you win. Yeah. And okay, the other thing is I like how excited you are yeah. to be yeah, with me real. and yeah. to get to know me. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that we is see. So sweet. Now I'm gonna come over to you over here. Yeah. How are you feeling? Well, um, it's a bummer, but you live and you learn. May the best beard win. So. Oh, <laughs> ladies out there, if you are into a bearded, tall, melanin king, please make sure to subscribe because obviously if you subscribe to this channel, be rest assured that you can turn on your notification. And of course, you will find out every time we post up a video. Also, only people who are subscribed to the PDS can actually get an opportunity to be on the show. So click that subscribe button right now. Other than that, guys, this was Lamu's episode. Please let me know how you guys are feeling about this match in the comment section. Let me know who you are pitching or shipping. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So let's go. Peace.